How's it going guys, RXXC here, and I wanted to do something a little special for my uh, celebration of breaking 3,000 subscribers. Um, I can't thank you guys enough for uh, sticking around with me from the beginning. Uh, I know some people have been there all the way from the beginning, still coming on my videos, still talk to people, talking to you Crimson, of course. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I wanted to show off my Bakugan uh, Diamond Collection. Um, it's something I haven't really done uh, in detail yet, I did it in a live stream one time. Uh, but I wanted to highlight them uh, in a video by themselves. Um, so I'm just going to kind of run through them. Uh, for new people coming to the channel after some recent attention, I guess, from the whole, uh, you know, uh, uh, LA thing, um, I just wanted to show you all what I have. So uh, I'm going to go kind of top to bottom um, and left to right. So what we have here first is Darkest Kloptor. Uh, he's really cool. Um, we're not getting an Ultra Kloptor. Uh, but this one's really cool. Uh, one of Visual's favorites over in the corner over there. Um, he's just an eyeball. A little darkest eyeball. And it's actually uh, really cool. Um, yeah, so uh, we have Diamond Pegatrix uh, from the first ever uh, Diamond 3-pack from Wave 1. Um, this is a lot of people's favorite. Uh, she's a, a very pretty girl. Um, the light blue looks really awesome. And then the white on the wings uh, is really cool uh, as well. Uh, we have Darkest Scorporos, um, very new. Uh, I don't know waves and stuff because I kind of lost track after uh, a lot of time. Um, but this thing is a single core. Uh, a lot of people are finding them now uh, as they're recording of this. Um, and it, it's really cool. Uh, it's, it's really clear. There's a lot of clear plastic going on. Uh, and his little face is kind of cute too. Um, one that's uh, debatable on how cool it is, is uh, Phaedrus Ultra here. Um, Phaedrus has a really nifty design, I would say. Uh, it doesn't necessarily look like what it's supposed to look like, uh, what some people say. Um, but to me, I think it's really cool. Uh, it's got a really uh, intricate design with the wings and everything like that. Um, I don't know. It, I like it. Uh, I don't like the, you know, the, like the mass of dark plastic here on the bottom. Um, but the rest of it's pretty clear, and the purple's pretty cool. Uh, moving over, our newest edition, we actually just opened this here uh, a few minutes ago. Uh, this is Orlis, I mean, excuse me, Aquas Diamond Hydronoid Ultra. Uh, really cool with the five heads. Um, very clear at the top and then solid at the bottom, which I actually like in this case. Um, and I got my, I got my LED lights going here. Uh, cause I like to put my diamonds up here and like the light shines through them and I think it's kind of cool. So if it's a little hard to see some of them, it's just for the aesthetic. Sorry. Um, the classic number one boy, uh, diamond dragonoid core Pyrus. Uh, this is the one you always see. Um, this is kind of the main one. There's a DECA version of this that's out there. That's actually really, really cool. Um, and I'm looking for that currently. Uh, there will be some... Uh, Bakugan that I don't have here, and I'll kind of go over what I don't have at the end. Um, but yeah, this was uh, this was the first one. Um, you can find that video way back on my channel. Uh, it's like a thumbnail with it on there, uh, and it's pretty cool. Um, way back in the day, <laughs> almost a year ago now. Um, first, uh, I mean, next we have the first Oralis Diamond, and that is Trino. So the little Triceratops guy here. Um, we haven't seen or uh, gotten news of any new Oralis Diamonds. Uh, so this is the number one guy here for, for a little bit anyway. Um, very cool. Uh, he, he's kind of reminiscent of Tertonium, which you'll see here in a second. Um, but he is a pretty cool little Bakugan. Next up is my favorite guy. Uh, if you're a friend of the channel or know anything, and of course green passes by just as this comes up. Uh, but we have Diamond Trox Ultra. The T-Rex himself, and I don't even have his little arms uh, folded out here, uh, but they do kind of come out. Uh, their little manual part there. I'll get them out for you. There you go. So he's got his little T-Rex arms there, looking real cool. Love trucks. One of my favorites, and a pretty uh, decent Bakugan competitively. Um, now we have a very, very clear boy. You can almost barely tell what uh, what um, faction he's in. It's uh, v uh, Ventus Mantinoid Core. Uh, there is no Diamond Mantinoid Ultra, uh, but this is our one Mantinoid uh, that we get in Diamond. And he's very cool, very, very chunky uh, Bakugan, very thick, um, and uh, very heavy too. Easy to roll, really cool, not too competitively viable, um, but that's okay. We can't, uh, can't have it all, you know what I mean? 
Um, so yeah, mantenoids are really awesome. Moving down to my middle shelf here. This is Aquas Hydrus uh, Core. Uh, this one is really awesome. Probably one of my favorite designs of a Bakugan. Um, and then one of my favorite diamonds, really. Uh, it looks really awesome. Uh, in When it's folded up in the ball form, uh, you get all these heads together. Uh, and he's got this really, oh, I don't want to drop him here. But I can kind of show you if I do it. He's got like this weird design with his heads. And it looks really cool with the metallic blue paint. Uh, and then this on the back as well. It's pretty cool. And then all those heads pop up like that. It's really, really cool. Kind of messed them up there, but we'll fix that. <laughs> this is Tertonium. Kind of what I was talking about uh, with the Trino. They're kind of the same. You can kind of see here. They're one in the same mold almost. Uh, but this is our Turtle Boy. He's in Ventus. Looks really cool. Uh, a lot of people's favorite Bakugan here. Ventus Tertonium Core. No Ultra for this guy. Uh, but he is looking mighty fine, I have to say. Um, Darkest Phaedra's core. So we have the Ultra up here. Uh, you can see they do not look very similar uh, whatsoever. Um, the, the a, a lot of people say that this is their favorite version of Phaedra's. Uh, and you can kind of see why. It's very long. Uh, you can kind of see here. It's very, uh, it's very big compared to Tritonium there. Uh, it stretches out as far as any Bakugan we've had. Um, and it's a uh, really cool uh, again not very good competitively um, Wrapping back around to the first three pack ever we have uh, Diamond Trox core uh, one of my favorites obviously uh, and we can get a little Trox Trox meme here <laughs> uh, But he is looking really cool. Uh, I, I love Trox. It's my favorite. We have the ultra here and the core down here uh, one of my first diamonds uh, i'm very fond of it uh and a it, it'll always kind of be my first one to me even if, even if it came in a three pack um but let's wrap around down to the bottom over here getting into some interesting ones we have diamond webam uh the spider himself this little face thing kind of comes up but i don't like how it looks so i kind of leave it down um but he's uh he's really hard to close <laughs> He doesn't pick up core as much, um, but he is a very, very fun looking diamond Bakugan. Uh, and people love or hate spiders, but uh, this thing is pretty awesome. So next, uh, the uh, main the main Bakugan from the first three pack we had, uh, Maxator Ultra. Um, Maxator doesn't get too much love in the game. Uh, kind of left out of a lot of competitive viability. Um, it was okay early on, but once we got more stuff, it just kind of fell off. But, I mean, he's a minotaur. You can't you can't be mad about this thing. He's so cool. Uh, one of my favorite designed Bakugan, for sure. Uh, and I got him really early on, so he'll also kind of stick with me, I guess. Um, we have Aquas Hydrus Core. Uh, this was the first one that kind of came out that had this uh, fancy, like, metallic paint to it. So you can see Maxator was early on, and he just has kind of like the normal paint. Uh, but when we get here, you can see the glitter in the blue in the uh, lion's mane there. Really interesting. And it's also in this face, too. You can kind of tell. Um, it was really interesting when that first came out because it kind of showed us that they were innovating these diamond designs, uh, too. Uh, diamond Cindius Ultra. I am missing Diamond Cindius Core uh, in Pyrus. Um, that's something I've been hunting for. Uh, I haven't had much luck with diamonds. Uh, so... All the ones you see here, I say that and you're looking at all of them. All, most of the ones you see here that are later wave diamonds, uh, I received graciously from Spin Master um, because I am what is deemed a Baku Master. Uh, hence the uh, Bakugan vans in the background here. Um, Spin Master uh, sends a uh, select few uh, YouTubers, influencers, whatever you want to call them, um, some care packages with new diamond Bakugan to show them off. Uh, and I do that uh, occasionally. Um, and sometimes I'll just do it in a live stream and show them off. So this was part of that. Came in a three pack. Um, oh no, actually, I think that was sent to me. I don't know. It's all kind of running together, but I'm pretty sure that was sent to me. Uh, this is a highlight for some people. This is a Diamond Aquas Fade Ninja. Uh, one of my favorite core sculpts. Um, just because he's so basic and plain. He's on a magnet here because he kind of he kind of has a little trouble standing up. His little tail doesn't do much for him uh stability wise uh but yeah he's uh he's one of my favorites he's got some little arms under his under his little things here they're kind of 
uh, a pain to mess with, so I'm just going to leave them. Uh, but yeah, Fade Ninja is awesome. All right, we're going to skip the big boys here and go over. Um, and it's kind of a little aqueous corner over here, but this is Ultra Hydrus. Uh, I have a couple of these. For some reason, in my neck of the woods, uh, this Bakugan was super easy to find. Um, ooh, three or four, maybe, in our whole little group over here. Um, I don't know, but uh, this is one of the first ones that came out, and for us, it was in abundance. So we have a couple. Um, moving to the back, uh, one of the ones I had a lot of trouble finding. Uh, let me move him to the front here so you can get a good look. I had a lot of trouble finding this guy. Uh, this is Diamond Serpentes Ultra. Uh, a very sleek uh, design here. Very long. Much much dragon uh, stuff going on here. He's, he's really cool. Uh, and the metallic paint on his mouth, I think, really sets him off, in my opinion. And then the design on his wings is also the highlight of this diamond. Uh, really, really awesome. Looks great in ball form as well. Um, one of one of my favorite uh, diamonds uh, as a as like a paint job and as a as a whole really. Um, let's move this guy out. Diamond Aquas uh, Vice Rocks little crab guy. Uh, he's pretty interesting. He's got a cool little design for his face. If you can kind of see that there, uh, get a good zoom in. Uh, he's very uh, He's very nifty. Um, not one of my favorites per se, uh, but I'm, you know, I'm, I'm glad to have it. Uh, but playability wise, uh, this one's not very good. Um, so he just kind of stays up here for sure. Uh, but a cool guy, nonetheless. Uh, uh, Chaos Gorthion. Um, I don't have the uh, Gorthion three pack, so the big one, uh, the Ultra, uh, which comes with a, uh, uh, I believe, um, a Serpentes and a Fangzor uh, diamond, which I, uh, I don't have either of those either. Um, but Gorthion's pretty cool. He's a gorilla. Uh, he's uh, Leah's, like, supposed to be main Bakugan, but I think we all know it's Pegatrix by now. <laughs> uh, so Gorthion's pretty neat. He's got good details on his face here. Really cool diamond. Uh, a fan favorite, of course, we have Diamond Cubbo. Uh, Kubo in the show is kind of a jerk, <laughs> but to the fandom, uh, he is loved by many. Uh, he is really fun to mess around with because he's got a little Zubal head. So this uh, this just kind of sits down. <laughs> so you can get him in this little ball form and then let him go. And he stands up and he's Kubo. He also has a Chinese backpack. So that's fun. Made in China. <laughs> Kubo's cool. All right. So kind of stars of the show here. We have Hyper and Ultra, Dragonoid, and Diamond. Um, these were both sent to me by Spin Master. I'm very lucky to have these. People are finding these, uh, the Ultra, here uh, around uh, at this time too. Uh, so you might be able to find yourself one of these. Um, I love these. They're definitely two of my favorite diamonds. Um, the Hyper is a little more close to me because I love Hyper Dragonoid. Uh, the sculpt to me is just so much more aggressive looking and just really awesome to me. Um, the paint and everything on these is just great. Uh, they're super clear uh, compared to a lot of the other ultras that'll have you know a lot of dark uh, filled in paint, kind of like kind of like Hydra's here. There's not much going on diamond wise, um, but these really do steal the show often um, to me anyway. Um, so that's my main diamond Bakugan collection here. Just get a good look at it on the shelf. Uh, that's kind of how I store them. I don't know. I got these little clear shelf box things from my girlfriend. It was like a makeup thing. She didn't need it anymore. So I just kind of dropped them on here. Uh, and I think it worked well with the like clear aesthetic or whatever. And I can't do this without highlighting, of course, the limited Dragonoid sets. Uh, you've seen them on my channel a couple times. I gave one away. Uh, had a winner win them at a tournament. Um, so, you know, they're great. You've seen them before. Uh, the, uh, the clear, the clear red is just something to behold. I have to tell you, but I have a video on that on my channel. Uh, please go back and check that out. But thank you guys for watching this. Thank you. Thank you very much for 3000 subscribers. Uh, it means a, a, a heck of a lot. Um, I'm going to try to push through into 2020 and make this channel everything it needs to be. Uh, I'm going to try to be a little more informative with the new set and everything coming out. 
Um, and so just keep checking back to my channel for like insights on the meta or whatever comes out of all this new cards and stuff and the new figures too. Uh, I do have a large collection of figures. Uh, if you are interested in that, uh, put it down in the comments. Uh, I have a pretty large collection, I have to say. Um, I have stuff that's not opened. Uh, I have an unopened Diamond Dragonoid, I guess I should have said that. Uh, but we got a lot of stuff over here. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know. Uh, if not, I will see you in the next video. Thank you for sticking around. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And uh, I'll see you later. Bye.